So, hi dear Cancer, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is your first Osho Zen Tarot reading, tarot reading on my channel. On uh, I'm going to uh, tap into recent past, current energies and near future and I will see the guidance as well. These are the spiritual messages that you don't know what your soul needs to know right now at this present moment. Okay, by the end of this month uh, with the guidance and you can relate to these messages from for any area of your life but basically these are spiritual messages because Osho Zen Tarot is all about spiritual messages and uh, understanding and the guidance of how you should behave or how you should uh, come out of a situation okay and if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me you can start your journey by con uh, by purchasing my course the link is in the description box for the same if you want to start your self healing journey with Ho'oponopono but don't know from where to start you can definitely start by purchasing my master class again the link is in the description box for the same it has the power to change your life or the rest of your life trust me on that I'm doing it from a very 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 long time now and if you want one on one healing sessions or personal readings you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same so let's start cancer Let's see what was happening in the recent past for you guys. Okay, let's see. We had the dream. Okay. You were having a dream of having something beautiful in your life, especially in your love life, I think. You were craving for love. You were craving for that kind of long... Uh, uh, like, you were craving for something... That is going to carry, that is, that carried a lot of love, a lot of this energy of, okay, someone or something is out there for me and there's lots of love in the universe and this love is going to be in my life also. Either you were like uh, dreaming about some kind of specific energy, per specific person or you were in general craving for love but you were in this energy of dreaming about love a lot, Whether, no matter what kind of love it was, universal love, parents love, siblings love or might be a specific kind of energy like romantic love, whatever it was, you were dreaming about that kind of love, you were, you were craving about that kind of love and you were longing about that kind of love in the recent past. Typical cancer energy because cancer uh, often they dream about love a lot. You know, you guys are very sensitive. I am a cancer moon myself but uh, I don't, to be honest with you, I uh, am more on the masculine side, I am more on the Taurus side than the cancer side. I am a Taurus sun and uh, uh, cancer moon and leo rising so i have all the uh, energies in me but yeah most of the uh, cancer people they have a lot of love to give and in return they feel like a lot of love should come back to them and you were doing the same thing in the recent past or you were craving for that kind of love or daydreaming about that kind of love in the recent past in the current scenario the letting go thing right now you are in this energy of okay letting go and letting god in the surrender mode whatever you can do from your side you are doing it physically emotionally and on a spiritual level as well you are intuitively getting these messages from the universe that letting go and letting god and surrendering to the divine is the right thing to do so you are in this energy of okay the universe is guiding you to do things that you might not be able to understand on a human level why the hell the universe is pushing me to do things that i don't want to do on a human level but you are doing it anyway and the universe is kind of blessing you for that because this is something that the universe really really want you to do at this present moment and you are doing it you're doing it hmm. you're extremely sensitive these days extremely sensitive cancer yeah you're extremely sensitive these days and you're trying your best to not to be too much sensitive not to be too much in your heart or too much in your feelings the more you're trying not to do that the more it's kind of impacting you in a not in a negative way or in a positive way it's just impacting you and you you know it you know it but you are in this energy of letting go and letting god and surrender by the end of this month we have the aloneness okay don't take it as a negative card this is a very beautiful card this is major arcana uh, uh, nine number aloneness in uh, uh, Oshos and Tarot, you are going to choose, you are going to choose to be alone. Loneliness and aloneness are two different things. You are going to be in this detached state of form. You are going to be in this energy of, okay, I have to uh, uh, follow my own path. I have to follow my own lead. I have to follow my own uh, light. So you are going to detach from people or situations or things that are no longer serving you, that are no longer making you happy. I think you are going to learn the art of detachment as... Um, much as possible from your side because in the past you were in this energy of being overly sensitive about things or people or situations now in the current energies you are in this letting go phase even if you are not uh, like happy about it but you are trying to okay and by the end of this month i do see you being very being a winner 
being in this energy of finally being with yourself finally enjoying your own company finally enjoying this energy of aloneness and trusting the universe trusting the process as much as you can you are going to be in this energy of okay i know something better something good is coming my way so are you are going to be in this i know kind of an energy by the end of this month very good enjoying your aloneness enjoying your own energies enjoying your own solitude and being with yourself as much as you can let's see the guidance for you guys for the rest of the month of july 2024 cancer sharing okay so i think if it is possible for you to share your light with others so it's not always about romantic love cancer or getting love from a particular person or situation only the more you are going to share your love with people situations or connections or things that 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 uh, can help you to grow to can help you to grow in a uh, spiritual way in a beautiful way please do that because sharing is going to help you to get more and more and more love universal love universal blessings share your joys share your dreams share your happiness share your love with people or things or situations that that uh, needs it okay so that you can get it uh, like many poles but don't share it with this energy of i want it back from the universe just share it with this thought of yes because i have it i can share it right that is the thing because it will it is going to give you the sense of accomplishment and happiness and feeling blessed by the end of the day yep so yeah thank you so much for tuning in cancer i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste